I'm Dr. Roger, and this question is from the May 2021 International SAT Calculator section. College Board is asking about exponential decay. They gave us the equation for strontium-90, and they asked which of these interpretations is the correct interpretation of the point 0.5 here. Choice A, the approximate number of years it would take for 5 grams of strontium to remain in the sample. If I look at T equals 0.5, S of 0.5 equals 10 times 0.5 to the 0.5 over 29. And you can do that on either your graphing calculator or a regular calculator, a scientific calculator. And I get 9.88. That is. not 5 grams, so choice A is not correct. Choice B, proportion that remains after approximately 29 years. If I put in T equals 29, either on a graphing calculator or a scientific calculator, I get S of 29 equals 10 times 0.5 to the 29 over 29. That's 10 times 0.5 to the 1, which is 10 times 0.5 is 5. And after 29 years, I start with 10, I end with 5. That is 0.5. That is the proportion that remains. So choice B could be correct. Let's check the other two. Choice C, number of grams that decay every 29 years. No, we just saw after 29 years, 5 grams decay, not 0.5. So that is not correct. And D, number of grams the sample is reduced each year over the 29 years. If I look at S of 1, well, S of 0 is 10. S of 1 is 10 times 0.5 to the 1 over 29, which is 9.76. We did not re reduce by 0.5 grams, so D is not correct. Choice B is the only description that matches the numbers I tried. College Board often asks you about exponential decay. And it's important to understand this from a variety of perspectives. Frequently, it helps to just substitute in numbers and see which explanation matches for the numbers you substitute. Come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.